Hey girlies! In today's video we follow Kyle as he finds success, love and womanhood in Jue. Ever since he was a child, Kyle loved being on stage and performing. He had his first experience on stage in primary school when he was cast in a school play. He had built a good relationship with his theatre teacher and was cast in a plethora of other school plays. When he got to high school, his interest changed, but his love for being on stage and performing remained constant. Instead of being a theatre kid, he had picked up the guitar and started taking voice lessons. His parents were supportive of his hobbies, but still wanted him to hold down a stable job. We just want you to be able to support yourself, his mother had told Kyle on multiple occasions. Performing arts, music and theatre, these are great hobbies, but very few artists can support themselves these days. His parents wanted him to maintain a stable GPA and get into a good college. Kyle, however, was set in his ways. His grades were middling, and he did not get a scholarship to go to state university. His parents insisted that he could take community college courses and transfer later down the line. Kyle didn't want that. All he cared about was performing on stage. The rush he felt had not changed the least bit after all these years. Much to his parents' dismay, after graduating high school, he started performing at local venues and bars rather than going to college. However, that was the extent of his success, despite performing almost daily at different local venues. Self-publishing on social media, he could never get his lucky break. His parents had kicked him out of the house thinking that it would encourage him to be responsible. Moving out, however, had done the opposite. Now he was focused on his music full-time without his parents' constant nagging. He had made new friends who had connections in the industry. Through one of those connections, he had met his new manager, Richard. Richard mainly managed bands and didn't have a lot of experience managing solo artists. Beggars cannot be choosers, and Kyle had told Richard he was open to joining a band. Months had passed, and he had not heard much from Richard. In the meantime, he kept performing at bars and venues, but the bills were racking up. With the added costs of renting studios and producers for his songs, the nest egg his parents had given him was almost depleted. On one of his off days, he decided to pay a visit to Richard in his office. He had paid a retainer to Richard, and after six months, he had nothing to show for it. No jobs, no contracts, no boy band, nothing. Richard was surprised to see Kyle. How is my favourite solo artist? he asked sarcastically. Not well, Richard, not well. Money is tight these days. My voice is getting strained from performing almost every day. I see. Do you need accommodations? I can find you new roommates. Maybe you can move back in with your parents. I can't do that, Richard. I would just be admitting defeat. I'm not ready to return to college and get a regular job. Do you have anything for me? asked Kyle. Nothing really came up that is a fit for you, Kyle. Not many punk rock artists are on the rise these days. I recently took over the management of a boy band, but they sing pop music exclusively. I am desperate at this point, Richard. I am willing to change genres, my style, anything. I would do whatever it takes to become successful at this point. Hmm, anything you say? Yes, Richard, anything. Well then, said Richard, hold on just a second. Richard had left the room. Kyle could hear him speaking with his assistant. He could not make out what they were saying. A few moments later, Richard came back with a bag in his hand. I want you to go into the restroom and change into these. Kyle looked into the bag and saw a plaid mini skirt and an off-shoulder crop top. He looked back at Richard in shock and said, These are girls' clothes. Well, replied Richard, you said you would change your style to anything. Not to this, replied Kyle, still in shock. Look, Kyle, I have to level with you. I don't see much of a future in you. Not in your current form, anyway. The industry moved away from this a long time ago. However, I have a girl band that is missing a member. You already have feminine features. Lean, hairless, soft facial features. If you want to become successful, this is your shot. Leave it or take it. Kyle sighed. He was disappointed, but he knew this was his only shot. Where is the restroom? he asked meekly. Second door to the right, replied Richard. 
Kyle walked to the restroom and locked the door. He started taking out everything in the bag one by one and putting them on the sink. Aside from the skirt and crop top, there were high heels and jewellery in the box. After he took out everything, he noticed the fishnet stockings and panties at the bottom. At least these were somewhat familiar, as had worn fishnet overalls on stage before. He didn't want to change into the panties, though. So he started with the stockings and the plaid miniskirt. Once he looked at himself in the mirror, he noticed that his boxers were too long and were visible underneath his skirt. He sighed and started changing his underwear. He looked up again, and he was shocked. His legs looked beautiful in the fishnet stockings, and his bottom half looked like a girl. He didn't have much muscle mass, so his hairless legs looked very feminine. Then he diverted his attention to the crop top. It was a simple shoulderless top. It was easy enough putting it on. He then looked at the jewellery that lay in front of him and decided to wear the black chocker. That, too, was something he had worn before, so he was more comfortable rocking those. What stared in the mirror was almost a girl. If someone didn't see his face with short hair and the slightest hint of facial hair, no one would think twice about him being female. Richard's assistant called out his name when he finally left the restroom. Hey, Kyle, you look sweet. Richard wants me to apply light makeup on you before you go into his room. Please follow me. Kyle could only muster up a simple OK and started sheepishly following the assistant into a room with a mirror and a chair. The assistant started applying a light foundation that matched his skin tone. She said, This is just going to help us hide your blemishes and slight facial hair. You have a beautiful skin complexion, by the way. I am jealous. Thank you, said Kyle. He had enjoyed that compliment for some reason. After the foundation, the assistant started putting on cherry lipstick and applied a blush to make his cheekbones look plump. She then used a scary-looking tool to stick fake eyelashes to his face. Once that was done, she handed him a blonde wig and said, I'll give you a moment to appreciate yourself. When Kyle looked in the mirror, a girl stared back at him. This light makeup was enough to delete the sliver of masculine features he had. Aside from his flat chest, no one would have guessed that this was actually a guy. Kyle also had a pretty high voice for a guy. He was almost a countertenor. He started to wonder if he could convincingly do a girl's voice. His thoughts were interrupted by the assistant. Hey, hun, Richard is waiting for you. Kyle got up and walked back to Richard's room. Richard's face melted into a big smile when he saw Kyle. So what do you think, asked Kyle. He didn't exude a lot of confidence in his voice. I think you look the part, replied Richard. What's important is what do you think? You think you can do this? I don't know, said Kyle. This is, this is a lot to take in. Look, Kyle, the decision is straightforward. Do you want to be a star? Do you want to tour the world or stay stuck in this town? Kyle was shook. He had not expected his day to turn out this way. He was a guy when he walked in. Was he really pondering if he could live as a woman? His thoughts were interrupted by the loud clunk of Richard putting down a box on his desk. Open it up, said Richard. Go ahead, open it up. Kyle slowly approached the box. It was a wooden box with a fancy engraving. When he opened it, there was a pink pill inside. What is this asked, Kyle? That is going to seal our deal. If you accept, of course. You have to take it here, though. I have to see it. He could tell Richard was trying to pressure him. His blood was singing in his veins. He had already sacrificed too much for this. What was one more sacrifice? He took the pill. Nausea struck him immediately. Richard helped him sit down on the couch. His chest started burning. It felt like his insides were being rearranged. He felt something poke through his crop top. His chest felt so sensitive. He was losing his sense of time, almost like he was daydreaming. He felt like his ribcage was contracting. Was he dreaming this? After what felt like an eternity, it felt like the nausea was gone. Kyle stood up. He could feel a new weight on his chest. His bust had grown. His hips had grown, giving him a much more feminine figure. What was that, huh? He couldn't feel anything in his underwear. Just moments ago he thought he was dreaming, 
but this felt too real. His body was sensitive to the texture of every piece of clothing he was wearing at that moment. His panties fit perfectly. The crop top was accentuating his bust. The fishnet stockings felt great on his legs. It was too much for Kyle to process in that moment. Suddenly he was interrupted by Richard. Richard was watching him with a smirk, admiring his creation. Welcome back. Kyla, he said. Kyla fits you perfectly, but let me know if you have other ideas. No, replied Kyla, Kyla is great. Richard handed him another bag. This one had another medicine, a key to an apartment, and a credit card. You are officially under my wings, he said. There is an address written in there. You are going to stay with your new bandmates. The pills asked Kyla. Don't worry, those are birth control pills. We can't have you getting pregnant just yet. They will also prevent your period. I can get pregnant now, replied Kyla in total shock. Yes, of course, replied Richard. You can explore your new body in detail once you get home. Your girlfriends are waiting for you. A car is going to pick you up from the lobby in five minutes. Kyla was in total shock. She had lost the ability to speak. She was a man when he entered the building that morning. Now six hours later, she was fully a... She signed with a contract and everything. The next year was a blur. Her band's first EP, Transcendence, was a global number one hit. In just a single year, Kyla had gone from a failing musician to a global pop star. She had come around to appreciate and love her bandmates. But more importantly... She had come to love living as a woman. Kyla didn't know if her newfound success was playing tricks with her head, but she absolutely adored being a woman. She loved the beautiful clothes she got to wear on stage and off stage. She had even started dating someone from a famous boy band. Initially, it was arranged by their managers since the public loved these relationships. But soon Kyla realised that she actually found Liam attractive. The pill had not only had changed her body, but also her brain chemistry. After the world tour was wrapped, Richard gave the band a two-week break before the work could start for the much-anticipated second album. Kyla decided to use her vacation to visit her parents. She had not seen them in over a year, after all. They knew what she had become, surely, but she had not spoken to them. One day she knocked on the door of her familial home. She was welcomed by her father's shocked face. She could see her mother behind his dad in the hallway. Well, her mother exclaimed, aren't you going to invite her? Yes, of course, replied her dad. Once they sat down in the living room, she could see her father analysing her up and down quietly. Kyla's mother broke the silence with a remark that almost made Kyla cry at that moment. Oh, honey, her mother exclaimed, we just want you to know that no matter how you decide to live your life, we will always be proud of you and love you. His father nodded in agreement. He added, So, do we call you Kyla now? Yes, she replied quietly, I am Kyla now. Kyla had everything she wanted in life now. She was a pop star adored by tens of millions. She had a handsome boyfriend. But more importantly, she had the adoration and love of her parents. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow us on other social media. Enjoy your girly day.